We take no criticism from you, Minister. Uh, we take no criticism from the absent Minister. He was here at the start. So why is it that we, he's uh, fled like snow of a ditch? But the question will be asked by especially the rural groups, the regional group, and ourselves, and indeed uh, Deputy Mike the Mayor, who had to return to a health committee. So, Minister, uh, Minister Ryan here has to answer, and he says, made one statement there, and we'll be checking the records, that a final decision will issue uh, on Barry Row and their application in, in the coming weeks. So, we'll be holding to that because he's did it. And because the Tarnister wiped off 19 billion off of this country's investments one day here, about two years ago, when he said that we were changing our, our policy at the behest of the Greens. The problem here is that Michal Martin, in his grovelling attempt to get into power, ha uh, hitched his wagon up to the Greens. And he doesn't want to unhitch it now, but it must be unhitched. And the Hames was taken off with the Hames went back where it should be on him. Because he's made a total hames of it, and you're one of his uh, backbenchers or one of his junior ministers now as well. You don't, I don't think you've given any responsibility in the energy as, um, portfolio, so they put you in here. But Carwin, uh, talk to Ella. Why are they? Are they all ploughing? When you want to stop ploughing and you tell us it's paid nonsense. nonsense. Tis, tis, every kind of a situation that comes up with you is a situation of stopping people, persecute the people, and you talk about the profits and the, the troubles that we have now on the back of COVID, when the, when the hardship and the pain you put people through, and the fear you put people through, and the fear you still have people on. We're not climate change deniers in here, not one of us. We understand uh, nature and we are uh, uh, very proud supporters and our farming communities and rural communities are of the flora and fauna and indeed fossil, uh, fossil, we understand that we must change and we will change and no better people to change when we are ready. But you won't untackle or loosen up the, 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 the tackling on the, on the horse before you go to the creamery with the milk. If you do, you'll have milk spilt on the ground. But you have milk spilt everywhere. And you'd have blood spilt because you're driving people to distraction. You're not funding mental health. We'll lobby here yesterday, but you're putting huge pressures now on people's mental health because they just can't cope with the ever increasing cost increases. Take the, we can't interfere here. We can't interfere there. We own, the people own 95% of ESB. And I salute the ESP outdoor staff and indoor staff that I deal with and outages that are very effective and are very good. But the pure gouging that they're taking off of people now and they're making uh, um, 590 million profit in the first six months of this year, in the teeth of this awful, horrendous uh, upward spiral of, of, of prices, is just sickening. And for the CRU to come out yesterday, and not a quanga with a brass plate on the wall and say that they couldn't do anything about it, that is why the people are so sick of you. I'm so tired of you, a weary, cobbled together, uh, mixed match of a licorice all sorts of a government. But the sweets are turning sour and it'll be all, uh, it won't be any licorice in them when this is finished because when you meet the people, Tarshin Ekfrak, Ekfinaktiv, they're waiting for you, the long grass. They might have the lights to see you, but they'll have enough batteries to see you coming in. You might have head touches on you from some kind of solar power. If you go near them at all, I don't believe you will. Because take the country here in our economy, from hotels uh, to catering uh, to, 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 as I said, butchers, abattoirs, you name it, agriculture, uh, all of it, and indeed leisure centres, our schools, a neonary, uh, childcare, national schools, secondary schools, third level. How are they going to pay the bills? You know they're not, and they couldn't possibly pay them. And you tell them well, a few minutes ago, don't anyone panic, don't anyone worry, we'll all be okay. We will. Live horse and you get grass. I say, Mona, no, you're a chucky cheat, and look after our people, but you have abandoned that a long time ago. Why? We also have, as I said, I said the leisure centres, we have also every facet of business, industry, the hauliers, you name it. And I was in the Super Valley shop recently, and the bill April 12 months ago was 6,080 euro. The bill last April, this April past 2022, was 18,000. However, before these mad increases you're talking about now, how is that sustainable? They employ uh, um, 36 people. There are competitors down the road, some of the German, uh, you, you know, our friends in supermarkets, people support them too, I won't name which one. 10 staff, triple the income, and so they can manage. So we have served our global masters. And you've served them too as Minister of State for European Affairs. But Tishuk Madden has served our global masters. No matter what happens to the people, he's planning a big job, an after career, when he's run out of politics here, in, in, obviously in, in some part of Europe or beyond. But the sooner the better.
Get him away from us here. Because no one will ever think that anyone will betray our people like he done. When you think of De Valera, you think of La Masse, you think of Charlie High, you think of Bertie Hedden, who you're afraid to talk about now, and you know what you're doing, a, a distraction. Think of any of Albert Willans. The, 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 the enthusiasm and the way he supported business and our small families, our small people, and you were just serving the global masses of Europe. That's all you want to do. As far as I'm concerned, uh, the reality is there, there, there are three real causes of the state of the energy crisis that's here today. And Ever Hain is a complete underinvestment in, um, uh, underinvestment in the oil and gas. No alternative capacity whatsoever and no backup plan whatsoever. What they say one time about Johnny, about America, no, ca no cash, no hope. You have not a cash, not, you have plenty of cash, but you have no vision, no plan, and you're an abject failure. And that's why one of your back bitches won't come into the chamber for this debate, the region debate last week, or many other debates we bring forward. Such a dereliction of democracy. At least you, got, back, you, no. you, you did cobble up, welcome back, you did cobble up, uh, Tara, you did cobble up uh, a, a counter motion because you had this, uh, you had, uh, this the, the nonsensical situation last week and 40 times previous of not, uh, not opposing the motions, only to uh, acquiesce to them and put them in the bin. Such a cynical the ply of a government is disgraceful. You cobble together a response to this is a half big response. So, Minister Ryan, you are back. And I'm asking you now, you did say when you were here that Barry Rowe will get a decision uh, in the next two weeks. I'm holding you to that. We'll be raising it here because you have prevaricated, you have ignored them, and you won't meet them. Imagine companies that Deputy Smith and others think that they're a dirty word. But it's okay to imply, it's for us to imply um, or import oil uh, uh, from, from uh, other dirty dictators when we can't get it from Russia. But you have you, you've held up their, their, their application for licenses. It couldn't be up to you. I had 10 minutes to count quarter, please. I had 10 minutes. I didn't delay. No, in fairness, I had 10 minutes. And so they'd like to have it up to Minister Brun took his full 10 minutes. So I'm entitled to, as our motion to take my death no at the hall. So you have, Minister Ryan, you're prevaricated and presided over one disaster after the next. As I said, it's just not, not feasible or anything else because the, you've shared the oil companies and the oil investors, and you've dismantled all of them, and you have no diversity um, and plans. Our, many people out there crying, businesses and households, and everybody else, trying to diversify, trying to put in solar panels, and trying to put in uh, uh, many uh, generators, and many turbines, and everything, and many have. And you refuse to pay them for the ESP that's supplying back to the grid. Only this July they're getting any acceptance that the ESP is taken back off them. So the many people have the, the vision and the passion that you have. But I ask you, what changed you from 2007 when you made statements that we had to bring in all our oil reserves and our gas reserves to be self-sufficient in this country? What dramatic change were you? Was it not from the global masters in Europe? I know Green Party policies are there, but I served with you in 2007 to 2011 when you were banished from this country, and Michal Taoiseach Man should have known what happened to that Fianna Fáil Green government, but he doesn't care, as I said. Power at any cost for him, and no power for the people. No cotton for the people. No heat. No warmth. We'll be all coming in here in, a, in, in, a, in our terminal vests and our long johns, and the people at home will freeze in their houses. And you're going to give out back temporary support in the, support in the budget in to everyone. Why does any TD in this dawn need any of the, the price uh, paybacks you're given? You give them to millionaires. You give them back to the chairs of the ESP and the chair of all the other crangos as well, who are on and board Penal of 120,000 a year plus expenses. The people are fed up with it. Katoshi like Maga Nadina. So look, this is not good enough, Minister, and we're calling on you not to oppose this motion, but if you do, and we could have put down a motion of no confidence you to resign. We respect you as a decent man, but your policies are cuckoo. And I think Deputy Nolan said last week that you're following some kind of a cut-like cut -like, uh, scenario with your green policies and your, your colleagues. But I, be, I believe that your biggest problem is serving the global masters. And we know that there's a meeting on the 21st. We'll have representatives at another global economic forum again. And instead of representing the people of your country who duly elected you to this parliament and all of us for the time being, and they are hurting. In, across every facet of society, from the, from the womb to the tomb, and they are indeed. And we know the attacking went on the womb before, and the unborn, but look, you're attacking and perishing everybody now, and you don't care, and you have no bit of humility, no bit of respect, and no bit of appreciation of the problem. So I say to you, it's time to get out, 
go to the country, go to the town and feel the temperature and continue and go out to the park or send out the tea truck to the park and dissolve this ramshackle, humble, humpty dumpty government before you destroy our people completely in our Thank country. You. Thank you, Deputy Thank you.